Welcome back Village Elementary to the 2020-2021 school year. We're very excited to be here today. Today, Crimson the Cadet has created videos to help show us how to have a safe and smart start to school. Please watch the following videos that will show us how to arrive and dismiss safely, as well as socially distance in the hallways and lunch procedures for the upcoming school year. Welcome back friends. When exiting the bus, you will see adults holding a sign with which door to come in. Normally, we all go in the main door, but this year we may go in a different door based on which door is closest to your classroom. If you are getting dropped off by your parents, you will enter the main entrance. Make sure your parents stay in the car. Checking yourself or having your parents check you for signs or symptoms of COVID-19 before coming to school is an important way to stop the spread. Prior to the first day of school, every family must log on to the Infinite Campus Parent Portal and electronically verify that they will complete a daily symptoms check and only send their child to school if they are symptom free. A record of this compliance will remain on file in Infinite Campus for the 2020-2021 school year. Family health screening procedures have been mailed, emailed, and posted on the HCSD website for families. Before leaving for school, follow these steps. Check your temperature. If it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you should not come to school. Use your assurance card to review each of the signs and symptoms. If you have any new or worsening signs or symptoms that cannot be explained by a pre-existing condition that has been diagnosed by a doctor, you should not come to school. Examples of pre-existing conditions include asthma, allergies, Crohn's disease, or migraines. If you do have a temperature or any new or worsening signs or symptoms, call your school attendance office to report your absence and your medical provider for further direction. If you have no signs or symptoms, get your mask, wash your hands, and come to school with your assurance card. When you arrive at school, you will enter one of two lines. If you have your assurance card that shows that you have checked your signs and symptoms and are clear to enter the building, you will go to one line. Your assurance card can be the card that was mailed home, one you printed on green paper yourself, or a photo of the card on your phone or iPod. Printed cards can be attached to the outside of your backpack, on a lanyard, or held in your hand. Have your assurance card wherever you can easily keep it and show it daily. These cards will change colors and be reissued if or when COVID-19 symptoms change. If you arrive at school and have not checked your symptoms or forgot your assurance card, or your family hasn't signed an assurance document in Infinite Campus, you will get into a different line and have your temperature taken. You will be asked to wait in a short line six feet apart from others. There will be signs showing you where to wait. A staff member will be checking temperatures. They will be wearing a mask, face shield, and gloves. They will check your temperature with a non-contact thermometer. This thermometer will be pointed at your forehead for about two seconds. If your temperature is below 100.0 degrees, you can go straight to class. If your temperature is above 100.0 degrees, you will be asked to go to the nurse's office and be given some time to cool down before being checked again. If your temperature is below 100.0 when it's rechecked, you can go to class. If it is still at 100.0 or above, you will be sent home. If you come to school with any signs or symptoms or start to feel them while you're at school, let a teacher know. You will need to go to the nurse for screening and may have to go home to keep yourself, your friends, and family safe. When you enter the door, you'll see an adult. Did you see her mask? All teachers and students this year will wear masks to keep us safe. I like your mask, cadet. Please keep six feet away from each other. You will need to go right to your classroom. Have your hands ready for some hand sanitizer or a hand wash in the classroom sink. Once you enter the classroom, your teacher will give you directions about what to do with your backpack and coat and get ready to learn. Lunch will be eaten in the classrooms this year. First, you will wash your hands. If you ordered lunch, it will be brought directly to your classroom. If you brought your lunch, please wait for your teacher's instructions before getting your lunch. You will be able to remove your face mask while eating. Cafeteria monitors will be in your classroom during your lunch period. 
Please remember to follow the rules of our behavior matrix during this time. You will not be able to move around the room or share food, but please make sure you maintain a six foot distance between other classmates. If you need to get up, please raise your hand and a monitor will help you. Please remember, you need to wash your hands before and after eating. Make sure you clean up your area of any crumbs or wrappers as well. Most of your day will be spent in your classroom with your teachers and classmates. But when you do have to travel around the school, here are some of the expected behaviors in the hallway. The expectations will help keep everyone safe while we are at school. When you are walking in the hallway, you need to keep your mask on. And it's important to make sure your mask covers your mouth and your nose. In the hallway, make sure to stay six feet apart from other students and teachers. It might be hard to remember what six feet looks like. So here's a fun fact. Most cows are six feet long. Try to picture a cow between you and your classmate. So don't walk too fast or too slow. Keep a steady pace with your class while staying six feet apart. When walking in the hallway, it is also expected that we keep our hands at our sides and are careful not to touch each other or the walls. Germs are spread by touching, so try not to touch things or others around you. We haven't been together at school for a long time, so you will probably see many friends and teachers that you want to greet. Remember, it's okay to wave and say hello, but we can't hug, high five, or shake hands right now. When it is time to go home, you will hear an announcement. You will follow your teacher's directions for exiting the classroom. You will follow your teacher in a line as you exit the building. You will walk to the buses as a class. When you reach your bus, you will leave your line and listen to the bus driver. If you are getting picked up, you will wait in an area near the front of the school until your name is called. Your parents can't wait to hear about your day.